thought I'd give you a tour of the crawl space in this custom home that we have completed. This is uh, in a wetter area, so a full basement wasn't much of an option. The homeowners wanted the house to be lower to the ground, so we decided to put in a six foot ICF crawl space. So it's nice and warm down here. Lots of room, lots of room for storage. They'll have a couple of freezers down here. Uh, they got space for that. Uh, of course, we've got the radon eye radon detector plugged in already and uh, starting to monitor the air quality down here for radon. Thanks, Radon Environmental, for that. Moving around, we have the electrical panel over here. These homeowners decided to plan ahead for a future generator, backup generator. So the whole generator is not installed, but what they did do is install the uh, transfer switch. It's cheaper to do now at new construction than it is later on to try to add it. So it's ready basically in the future to hook up a generator. We've got two furnaces in this house and two HRVs. One furnace for the main floor and HRV, the other for the second floor. And uh, we didn't have to do a zoning system in here because one is one is for each. Moving around, we have our sump to discharge any groundwater outside. And in this house, we've gone with the Detson low velocity system. And you can see the two furnaces working here. Again, one for main floor, one for second floor. Anyway, that's the uh, crawl space of this home. Thought you might want to see that. It's looking great. Ready for turnover. Okay, we're here at our, one of our latest houses that we've got to turn over and uh, one of the last steps that we do is a blower door test and we've got Brad here from Sunridge Residential out of Saskatoon and we're going to do this blower door test and make sure that uh, the home is, is nice and airtight. You want to do a little a bit of an explainer there Brad? Sure, so what we're doing right now is we got the fan set so that it's sucking a whole bunch of air out of the house right now. And what that does is it depressurizes it to a specific number. In this case, mine is 50 pascals. So that's relative from the inside to the outside. And what that does is that that forces, a, wherever there's air leakage, it forces air to come into the house. So now this number is actually the air changes, but we can switch it to the flow to see how hard the fan has to work to be able to depressurize it to this. So it gets us our flow number and how much air it can be moving and then we know how wide the ring is and we can calculate then through that the air changes per hour at 50 pascals and that gives you an idea how tight your house is, how much outside air, uncontrolled outside air is coming into your house. Um, 0.82 is actually phenomenally good, 1 is really good. Um, yeah, whenever we're looking at energy efficient housing, and this house will be certified as Energy Star as well, we're always looking to achieve at least a one air change per hour or less. Uh, the typical new home in Canada, I think, is around two and a half air changes an it's hour. Pretty high. It's pretty, pretty high. It's pretty yeah. high. We find it here because of our quality, our insulation, that um, we're one and a half in Western Canada anyway, yeah, right? Exactly. But, yeah, so we're always trying to hit that, that magic number of one, and as you can see, this one's looking like we're at about 0.82. Yeah, it has a uh, give or take. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I think we'll be happy with that. And then the other thing that we do is, um, what Brad's going to do, I should say, not we, I, I have zero expertise in this. But Brad's got a thermographic uh, camera there that uh, he's now going to use that to go around the house, and we're going to try to find any air leakage or anything like that that we may have missed at the envelope stage. What Brad's doing now is walking around with the thermographic camera and he's going to scan the, the walls, especially exterior walls around windows and stuff to, uh, to see where there may be some excess air leakage and anything that we may be able to address. It'll tell us where, where we're losing, uh, losing heat. The whole point to energy efficient housing and one of the main things is to stop air from escaping to the atmosphere in the first place. Because if it's not escaping, you don't have to have your furnace running to replace that lost heat. The other thing is it's, uh, it's a lot better for your exterior walls when you don't have air escaping into the wall cavity and potentially condensing and causing problems there. So, 
or sometimes the other way around. You don't want air coming in and filtering through your wonderfully dusty and yes. walls. That's right. Through your walls, you want to control it through your yep. balance. So anyway, that's the thermographic scan. That's just another uh, quality control step that we do here at Miller Contracting.